The transparency tool controls the opacity gradient of an object. It is the eighth tool in the toolbar and looks like a wine glass. Once you have it selected, you can tap on the object that you want to apply the opacity gradient to and then drag to create the gradient. I'll show you on this cloud. First I tap it to select it and then I drag to create the opacity gradient. The gradient will run from fully opaque to fully transparent. It remains fully editable once it has been applied. I can tap on a stop and drag it to adjust the angle, or drag in or out to adjust the length. You can also adjust the midpoint. And the gradient line can be drawn anywhere on the screen as long as the object is selected. The transparency tool has the same gradient type options as the fill tool did in the contextual menu. Linear, elliptical, radial, and conical. You can also go back to none so that you have a solid fill. You can also rotate your transparency, reverse your transparency, or lock the aspect ratio. That's it for the transparency tool. Next we will talk about the vector crop tool.